The title of the thumbnail of this video states 104,000 Bitcoin. I am not really exaggerating, but please do let me explain. I heard from one of the video reports on YouTube that the Bitcoin price has historically followed the price projections based on the Bitcoin stock to flow chart. I then did my research and found that this is true to some extent. According to my research on this stock to flow chart, Bitcoin will most likely exceed 104,000 about one year after the 2020 Bitcoin halving. In this technical explanatory video, I will explain in detail this stock to flow Bitcoin price projection. After that, you can judge for yourself if it could be true that Bitcoin will reach $104,000 by 2021. Hello YouTube, I am Eugene with Blockchain360. Today is 17th of August 2019. If you find this discussion on the Bitcoin stock to flow chart interesting, please watch till the end of this video. Alright, so now I would like to explain to you about this uh, stock to flow model and the reason why I want to highlight this is because all the while I've been wondering why the Bitcoin um, Bitcoin halving has been influencing the price of Bitcoin especially uh, half a year to half half a year to one year after the Bitcoin halving you see that the price of Bitcoin has uh, shot up in particularly the first two halvings as we saw in the second halving which took place in 2016 just uh, one year after that 2017 you see the price shooting up from um, 1000 all the way up to to 19,000 so I came across this stock to flow in a few uh, bloggers um, and also on YouTube so I did my research on this stock to flow I think the best one of the better websites that explains this and even shows you a chart on on the stock to flow graph for Bitcoin is this particular website called digitalit.net backslash BTC so on that page it explains a bit on what the stock to flow is uh, they also have this link to another um, website to to further explanation but on that site itself you actually have a live stock to flow graph for Bitcoin okay um, just to go through the basic definition of stock to flow um, I bring you to this uh, while I googled for stock to flow ratio and I come to this particular site that gives a very simple and accurate definition stock to flow ratio is the amount of commodity of a commodity held in inventories divided by the amount produced annually okay it is a measure of abundance gold has the highest stock to flow ratio of all commodities so um the when it says here the amount of commodity held in inventories uh, for gold and for most commodities basically i would say it is the commodity that's in circulation in market so for bitcoin it is currently at here as you see here coinmarketcap.com bitcoins uh, in circulation would be 17.88 uh, million uh, so by definition it would take uh, the stock to flow for ratio for Bitcoin coming back to digital IK's website the current stock to flow is 25.3 so it would mean that it takes about it takes about uh, 25 years to for the mining process of Bitcoin to equate that of um, the amount of Bitcoin in circulation which would be 17.88 Bitcoins 
in the world. Um, to, we can actually calculate that, whether it's, it's accurate. What we do is, uh, we, to verify that, we just use the basic calculator uh, I have here on my laptop. So we know for a fact that there are one block is about 10 minutes. So in one hour, there's about six blocks. And one day, it is about 144. It's not exactly that, but it's close to 144 blocks per day. And then you multiply by 365 days in a year. That will give you 52,560 uh, blocks per year. And each block currently, we have 12.5 blocks. So that will come up to 657 657,000 Bitcoins per year in production. Uh, so we take that 17 million 880 divided by 600, 657. Okay, so it will be 17 million 880,000 divided by that earlier 657. Thousand that will give you close to 25.3. Okay, it's not exactly because in each year it's not exactly uh, 657,000 uh, blocks per year uh, because each block is not exactly 10 minutes. Uh, it could be more, it could be less depending on the difficulty adjustment by the blockchain. So, so this gives you a definition. Um, just to let you know, the stock to flow for Goal, as you can see here, it's actually about 62. So the higher the stock to flow value is, the more valuable or more scarce the commodity is. Silver is at 22, um, gold at 62, and Bitcoin at 25.3. So by by logic, currently Bitcoin's uh, scarcity is actually slightly higher than silver. It's still lower than gold. But once we have the Bitcoin halving, it will mean that the mining process will be, uh, the mining yield will cut to half. So that by logic would mean that it will take more years uh, based on the lower flow. Uh, before the Bitcoin halving, it will be 12.5. After the halving, it will be uh, 6.25. So by logic, it will take more years to mine to equate the existing bitcoins in circulation so the sf value will go up based on this chart that we see here on digital ik.net let me expand that out the currently the sf value which is 25.3 will equate a model price of about Okay, let me just remove the price and the current price. Okay, it will equate the SM value of 25.3 will equate to a current model price of around $8,600. You see here there are two model price, one's based on per day and the other the the turquoise one is for 365 moving average. Why do you have to? It's because uh, the actual price of Bitcoin, based on these color dots here, let me on that back, um, it does not follow uh, exactly. So once there is a sudden jump in the model price, it will tend to lag and it seems to be working closer to the 365 day moving average. So uh, now, how would how does the model, the stock to flow graph, model from that SF value of 25.3 to this current price of 8,000 8, over dollars, uh, the model price of $8,700? Um, they actually have a formula. So that formula is shown here as exponential of negative 1.84 times the SF value to the power of 3.36. I wouldn't know how the mathematicians came up to this formula, but this formula is applied to all commodities. So it's generally uh, has been accurate. And let's let's do a 
simulation and see whether it's, it's true. Um, I have a scientific calculator here, mm -hmm. and this scientific calculator uh, would need to key in, first of all, the formula which is the SF value 25.3 to the power of 3.36. So that will be the SF value of 25.3 to the power of 3.36, 3.36, that will give, oops, 25.3 to the power of 3.36, which will give you 51,818.51. I have that recorded down. I remember that. Okay, and the first half of the formula was exponential of negative 1.84. So 1.84 negative, and I exponential that, that will give you 0 0.1588. So I multiply this to the earlier value times 5,118.5. So that will give you a value of 8,229. So if I look at the chart, it's very close. Here they state that the current model price is uh, 8,258, while I calculated 8,229. So it's pretty close. Um, so by understanding this formula, you will then realize that the stock for stock to flow which is calculatable that will then based on that formula equate to a model price so the model price is um, based on one day moving average will be this purple line uh, whereas the three day moving uh, the, the one year moving average for that model price will be the one in turquoise so if I was to switch on back the existing real life price of Bitcoin okay which is indicated by this color dots here you will then realize that the price of Bitcoin historically has been following the model price based on the stock to flow value okay so if it's if it's true it has been following um, then the question is this when we have the Bitcoin halving to take place in 2021 May okay which is you will see this uh, stock to the model price big jump here and this model price will be then uh, be close to hundred thousand uh, dollars question is will the Bitcoin price go up to that value over time especially one year after the halving as it did as we saw uh, the second Bitcoin halving here in 2016 the price eventually did go up over anywhere between half year to one year to values higher than the model price so if it's true then Bitcoin price should go above a hundred thousand uh, dollars uh, one year after the Bitcoin halving okay another very interesting note to to highlight is the color of the dots indicate color of the life price indicate the number of blocks before the next halving so the peaks of the bull cycle seems to be in yellowish green as you can see here and as you can see here and, and the peaks uh, tend to be about anywhere between is it's usually higher than the uh, model price so if it's higher then yes it will be higher but if it's true that it's always about the yellowish green which is about 800 blocks then we could um, uh, to some extent say that the peaks again for the next bull cycle will be somewhere 800 blocks before the the fourth uh, Bitcoin halving in this case.
okay so that will place the peak somewhere about one year to half a year uh, after the coming Bitcoin halving okay so this is what I have to share in this video if you have any comments whether you agree or disagree to what I had shared please post your comments below if you have liked this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to follow more of uh, my videos that I post uh, either on a weekly or bi-weekly uh, frequency do subscribe to my channel if you have not before I go I just want to let you know that I do conduct live seminars and online webinars regarding Bitcoin basics and the blockchain in my seminars I do also introduce mining co-location service provider Dunamis Global Tech which we as miners could possibly make 100% or more annually. I have been mining with Dunamis Global Tech since its official inception. It is transparent, safe and reliable. The reason it is transparent is because Dunamis is a registered and regulated co-location company with the Arizona state government in the United States. It does not sell mining contracts as per se, but rather high capacity security mining space. Therefore, our mining machines, the co-location service and the low electrical fees of 5 cents per kilowatt hour is charged separately. With the low electrical fees of 5 cents per kilowatt hour and the affordable co-location service, it is then possible for us to gain high returns consistently. I encourage you to attend my seminars and webinars to explore this fantastic golden opportunity. The link to the seminar and the webinar schedules are shown in the description below. I hope you have enjoyed this video report. Please go ahead to punch the like button. If you have any comments or questions, please post them below. Until the next video, continue hodling and mining. Do have a fantastic week ahead. Goodbye.